All right, so here's a little video of my circle template. They can be very, very versatile and useful, and especially for cylindrical projects here like this uh, cylinder head. But uh, just to show you what it's all about, it's just got a guide circle on the bottom. And uh, I happened to take this one and just put a threaded insert uh, into it, a T-nut, just because if you build a library of these circle templates, between the size of the circle and the size of the router bit and the guide pin you choose, you can change uh, the diameter that you cut either significantly or very modestly if you're just uh, trimming stock off of that. Um, these, when you have a round circle, you always are cutting cylinders on the inside so your waist stock is, your, your waist side's on the outside. If you were cutting IDs, you'd have um, circles and cut it the other way around. But uh, it's just a really, really simple jig. It only took about uh, 15, 20 minutes to build. And if you keep adding these to your library, you can do you know, lots of little projects. And then to hold things like the cylinder here, this, I literally just took two minutes, jammed a Forstner bit through it, and then uh, went over to the belt sander and just roughed the outside diameter so what uh, left over it wouldn't run into the shank of the bit. And then these pieces here, I just use a circle template on the uh, belt sander, and I say a circle template, I mean it's a hunk of scrap wood with a dowel in it. And I clamp this end to it, and then just uh, when I clamp it, it'll stay put when you swing it, and you just run it into the belt and spin the thing, and you get, for these purposes, you know, perfect enough uh, little circles. If you wanted them really, really precise, of course, you'd probably do better on the lathe, but plenty good enough for what it's for, and I was able to shape it to fit that nice and snug. So that's all you do here is uh, you put her into that and you can see it's got a nice snug fit on it. Um, this one, uh, this piece of it here was a little under two inches. So, um, you know, it's a little proud of that. The other ones, were, this, this foam isn't always as consistent as you'd like it, but uh, that's really all there is to it. It fits snug enough, that's on there. And then you can see I got that finger joint stuck on there. And uh, as far as the depth of cut, got that set. So, uh, turn your volume down. It's about to get pretty loud here. Have one more go at it here. Set the depth. Looks about right. change of the bits here. Alright, and on this one, set the depth on it.
just like that. We've got a cylinder. Yeah, so it works pretty slick. So I got another finger bit coming that cuts six at a time and cuts deeper, um, either tapered um, or uh, square, and they're stackable. But uh, they're probably imported because it's going to take about three weeks to get them. But I thought I'd just have them in my toolkit in the future if I ever wanted to do deeper fins. But uh, you get the idea.